Okay, hey YouTube. Um, I I was what I told what I told you guys in a previous video or something about you know my Sims three when I was doing a little gameplay on my Sims three or whatever. Um, I said I would create um a restaurant and then. Uh, put it on the exchange for, you know, Simmers. Well, it's actually not the restaurant because I'm, um, number one, I couldn't put a stove in here and there wouldn't be any, um, any, um, like waiters and waitresses like the sims to open for business and you know restaurants or whatever and i'm sure that all comes with like ambition so you know like mainly i just need more uh expansion packs for it to become i don't know a restaurant with waiter waiters and chefs and um I'm not sure if they have all of that for The Sims 3 yet, but you guys can tell me. But anyways, this is a vampire lounge, and I do not have um, vampires because I don't have a late night, but I created it for people who has, you know, like, most of the expansion packs, you know, late night, they can... Uh, for, for simmers, I mean, they can, um, you know, um, go ahead and download this to their game and, you know, switch anything out, put bars in it, whatever they want to do, so. But anyways, this is the color of it. It's red. The door's red. There's a lot of red in here because it, it just, the colors while making this reminded me of vampires. So that's why I made it a vampire lounge instead. And over here are, you know, a little play area for the vampire kids and toddlers or regular you know, sims. And the hot tub right here. Oh, sticky! No, you can't climb! You're not supposed to be climbing. Go play with your, sorry, my kitty's wanting attention and he can't climb anything. He's trying to climb me, but he can't climb anything because of his broken leg. Okay, anyways, let's get started. Okay, so these are, you know, the bathroom areas over here. You know, the girls over here, I made it red. The guys, I made it black. And there's one extra, because there's a door here. So I was able to fit a wall. So now there's three toilets. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, this is like, um... Oh, let me get rid of this grid. There's, there we go, much better. There's, um, you know, like, the dining area. And people can still come and make food. Because there's a fridge. Cabinets. Um, trash compactor. And another fridge. And below, I think it's, I want to say it's a little stove. So hopefully that'll work. It looks like it. And a uh, coffee mixer thing. So yeah, this is the kitchen. And then a lawn and then the hallway. And a door going out. Where's the door? Why is it open? What the heck? Did my... Okay, that's weird. Like, maybe someone went in there or something? I don't know. But yeah, here's the door leading out to the dining area. And then the door leading this way. This is like a little dance room. I wish, you know, the disco ball. But I don't. Actually, that might come with 
70s and 80s and 90s step pack. So I'm really excited for that too. So yeah, just a little dance area. And then double doors leading into like lounge area. You know, a relaxing area with games and... What? Oh my gosh! Oh, well I already uploaded this to the exchange. So everything... So stuff that is you see missing here. Like I put um, three multi-tab 6,000 here and two here. Some of them are gone. And then I put three um, uh, goggles, you know, gaming goggles. And then here's, you know, like little iPods I put for grabs. What? Come on. And, you know, paintings and his speakers. I thought that was a good place to put them. So they can hear the music from the dance room. So this is a little lounge area. And yeah, yeah. Oh, and one thing that I put, I put a little basement because, and this might be new to um, people who haven't done this before, so I want it to be different. I put a bed down here for woohooing, so you can woohoo in a community lot. Um, I think, I'm, I'm not sure if it works. Actually, I was gonna take my sim and his, my sim and the boyfriend, um, down here and try for a baby. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And, and um, for sim, for the people that have, like, the Sims 3 Late Night, I believe you can make this just an act, like a private access or something, like the red rope here, because I've seen that in, in, um, 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 in, what am I trying to say? I saw that in Late Night Gameplays, where, you know, there's only exclusive access and some bars and stuff. So, but I don't even know if you can, um, um, do exclusive access on, you know, like, here, you know, like, ban it from everybody else, yourself. But you guys can try that out and see. So that is my community lot. And... This is like my first ever community lot that I've built apart from, you know, playing The Sims 2 before The Sims 3 coming out and building, you know, community lots. So, yeah, that's my lot and it is up in the exchange and I will try and, um, leave a link below so you can go straight to it 